and I've been talking to Miss Dow about her collection of books. She started to be a librarian 16 years ago. There are 11,222 books in the library. The favorite books are Percy Jackson series by Rick Rodan, The Last Hero also by Rick Rodan, The Twilight series by Stephanie Meyer, and Diary of the Wimpy Kid by Jeff Kenny. Some books she likes are for Freedom by Kimberly Bradley, The Boy in Pajamas by John Boy, Behind the Bedroom Wall by Laurel Williams, but one of her favorite is Postcard from France by Megan Libby. It is about a girl who lives in France and once a month she writes in the newspaper about what happens in her life. Overall, this segment is about collecting and collections. Right here in our middle school, we have one of the biggest collections by Miss Dow. These are many books that you and me can read. People enjoy watching television or listening to the radio before bedtime. But not me. I like listening to the sound of night. Like bullfrogs, green frogs are my special favorite, the American tree frog. The American green tree frog lives near lakes, farm ponds, floodplain sloths, or cattail marshes. Living near these ponds are not just frogs, but many different types of insects. Like crickets, moths, flies are many different types of worms. These insects are the green tree frog's prey. If there is not enough insects living near the land where the frogs live, they will prey against their own kind as a last chance. People think these animals are usually just plain green, but these creatures are bright lime green with yellowish coat underneath. These lime green frogs can grow up to 6 centimeters or 1.5 inches. Mating season occurs around mid-April. To impress the female frog, the male will make a loud, high-pitched chirping noise. When females have their fry, it contains about 400 eggs. These amazing creatures could live right here in your backyard. Today, we'll be making dirt cake. To make dirt cake, you'll need gummy worms, Oreos, Chocolate pudding, butter knives, two preferably large spoons, and Ziploc baggies. Now what we do is we take our Oreos and we put them inside our baggies. Once you put them, once you put the Oreos inside your baggie, you take your large spoon and you carefully crush them until they're lumpy. Be careful not to break the bag. This will now be your dirt. Now what you're going to do is take your gummy worm and your butter knife and you're going to cut your gummy worm either in half or in quarters. Now what you want to do is take your littler gummy worm pieces and stick them in before you put your dirt in. You may want to wash your hands before starting. Okay, so just get small little pieces of your Oreo dirt and sprinkle it lightly on top. Now last, you stick your gummy worms in and leave them poking out so they look more real. Did any of you notice the new shamrock imprinted on the sidewalk? Well, the cement that created that picture was poured October 20th. Workers must wait 30 days after the cement was poured until the concrete settles and after that, they will paint it. The shamrock emblem will be painted and will look like the shamrock near the front entrance. 
Since the shamrock was imprinted into the sidewalk, you'll be able to see and feel it. I explained the process to many middle school kids and asked them what they thought of it. I got various responses. 7th grader Beza M says she thinks it's cool because it shows our school spirit. When people walk in, the first thing they notice is that they're in Barry Springs Middle School Shamrock Territory. Alex D says that he really likes it and that it shows that we are proud of our school. Many other middle school kids agree with what Alex and Beza said. And, overall, many students think that the Shamrock was a great idea. It shows how unique we are as a school. In less than 30 days, the Shamrock emblem will be painted. And, after it's painted, students from Bering Springs Middle School will be able to see and feel the Shamrock emblem. On your mark, get set, go. Hello, middle school students. Looking for a chance to be involved? Well, here it is. MSCV is producing a new movie in which you can be involved. Sign-up sheets are posted all around the school. So, so what are you waiting for? Get to it! Hey students, listen up. The annual Scholastic Book Fair will be held in the library beginning Monday, November 8th at 7.30 in the morning and goes through Monday, November 15th. It will be open each day at 7.30 a.m. and until 3 o'clock p.m. after school. It will also be open during the parent-teacher conferences. Each time a student makes a purchase, their name goes into a drawing for a chance to win a free book. Proceeds for the book fair goes to the library to buy new books and to Mrs. Cheney's and Mr. Swenson's classroom. This is the ninth but this is the ninth year for the book fair. So bring some books and see you at the book fair.